over tomorrow and we'll go out on the boat. You want to go with us? You want to go to the doctor? I suddenly okay. have had a, what appears to be a retinal tear. And okay. of course this happens at 10 o'clock at, at night and we've called the, the emergency line for the eye doctor and I've we got it. We have to suddenly go to the eye doctor for him to take a look and see how bad this is, and it could cause permanent vision loss if I don't go in right away. I don't know how a retinal. Did he say a retinal tear? He said it, it could be. A, I don't know. Detachment. The fluid in the back of the eye has started leaking, and it's causing a tear in the retina. So these things have to be treated right away. We are here. Like they say in pillows on the sides, so you're not like rolling a lot and okay. a pillow behind your head. Okay. Ruby, you're being good. What did you, did you tell Walker? All right, so I'm going to fax notes over to their office right now. And then All right. Hey, friends. Let, let, <laughs> let this serve as a warning to you, a reminder uh, to please, please listen very carefully. Number one, get an eye exam so that you have an exam and a baseline. Every and year. Especially, yeah, well, I mean, just at least get one now and then. Yeah, every year. But I want to urge people just to go in if they haven't gone in yeah. lately. Um, then you have a baseline, and then you have a relationship with an ophthalmologist. Yeah. Right. I, it just so happens that I, I got on a waiting list that was months long, and I had such an appointment. It was my first eye exam in 10 years at least. Yeah. So, so I have this relationship. It's a month old. <laughs> I, went in, <laughs> I went in June, and now it's July really like the doctor. It was one that I had told Jen about and she went to a really good doctor. It's actually August. But... Oh yeah, it's August, <laughs> August 4th or 5th now. Yeah. So just, I'm going to go over this really quickly. Um, uh, yesterday morning, I started seeing weird light up in the left part of my vision and a weird crescent shape that followed the shape of my eyeball or my retina, basically. And uh, I dismissed it. I was like, God, I hope something weird is not happening in my brain. And uh, by that was in the late mid morning. And then by early evening, I started having strands in my eye. You know what floaters are. This is like that, only much more acute, uh, big, dark, swirling strands. And I said, Jen, I think I've maybe burst a blood vessel in my eye or That's something. I was worried about pretty scary news. I was worried about a stroke or something. It's yeah. it's pretty scary stuff when, when something like this is happening. So uh, we called the doctor and there there was an emergency paging system and he was paged and he called me back within the hour and he said, Man, you, you needed to call me you needed to call in the morning because yeah. this is serious. You mm -hmm. need you can't ignore this. And in the meantime, before he had called back, we were researching it and found out I might have a retinal tear. So I do, and uh, here's some more information about it that uh, we have some video from last night and, and today. But if you have any kind of weirdness appearing suddenly in your eye, you need it to set up an emergency visit with your doctor because they can go in there with light and look around and see if you've had, so you could have a retinal detachment. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't catch a retinal tear early, it can easily become a detachment and you lose vision in, in your eye, a significant amount or all, yeah. I don't know. And but, it doesn't matter what day or what time, just call them. Yeah. Because yeah. this, of course, happened Friday night late. And, stuff like this. Uh, now it's Saturday, yep. and the doctors on call have to come meet us. We're here at the surgical center, yep. the uh, retinal center, and we're going to get uh, surgery. Let me back up and say that if you have a retinal detachment, that too is is treatable. It's just more challenging. Um, to my amazement, most of these problems are treatable. It's just different levels and, and how acute they are. Um, the sooner this, you catch it, the better. Yeah, the sooner you catch it, the better. And 
don't don't lose hope because as I I've, I've said in my life I try to stay away from doctors and hospitals as much as I can um, but that's just that just makes sense I try to stay healthy in other words but when you do need them they can work miracles with modern medicine so much can be achieved so don't lose hope get in there and get seen and we're just talking about our, our recent dramas <laughs> and this surgery that you had here is incredible it's so healed you can't even see it it's a hairline scar from here to right here it's a hairline scar from, I think it's shrinking from here. her melanoma surgery and uh I have just gotten to the point where I'm not having as much uh, discomfort with my inguinal surgery scars healing. And uh, another uh, a thing of interest, when we went to drop our granddaughter off this morning, we were supposed to have her all day, uh, my son said, hey, did you put two and two together? Remember the other night at dinner, we were crossing our eyes, we were joking around. And I said, oh my goodness, you've got to be kidding me. They warn what? you, they, when you're a little kid, they warn you about your eyes staying crossed, but they don't warn you about retinal tear or detachment. So I've researched it and I've read several ophthalmologists, several doctors saying, no, it doesn't, it doesn't cause any damage. It may cause muscle fatigue, if anything, but no eye damage. So I don't know. It was less than 48 hours or 24 hours before yeah. that we were playing around. It was probably 12 hours because you said yesterday morning you yeah. noticed that, that halo yeah. appearance. Yeah. So Who knows? while they say it doesn't cause that, I would I would caution you if you're over 60, which is when this occurs, it's very it's pretty common. Between 65 and 65, 55 and 65. Is that what it's called? It's when it's most common <laughs> when it yeah. starts. Right, you know, right after your warranty expires. Yeah. <laughs> your bottom lid. You stuck a Q-tip under my lid? Yeah. Oh my goodness. And it's numbing your eye now. <laughs> hey, you're pretty good at that. Yeah. You're pretty, <laughs> you're pretty cute. Yeah. I literally cannot see shit. <laughs> well, good, because shit doesn't look good. Look, they're almost wearing masks here. But why? It doesn't do anything. There's two, two holes here and one hole here. <laughs> I, I love you, man, and the cold. <laughs> okay, so it is now the day after. Sunday. It's Sunday. Mm -hmm. Happened Friday night. My goodness, how things can develop quickly. Uh, <laughs> so Friday night, yesterday, uh, Friday night we went to the ophthalmologist, identified the problem. Yesterday, yeah, it was by midday. I was having mm -hmm. laser surgery, and then uh, 
here I am bandaged, bandaged up and trying to heal. Yep. So they say to keep this dressing on for uh, 20, 24 hours. hours. Very annoying. <laughs> uh, He's trying to take it off, but not three a lot of, hours left. Not a lot of pain. Uh, the so I had a, about the amount of pain an aspirin can take care of. Uh, today I'm not using anything. And uh, so when I take this dressing off, I should see the same problem with the blood swirling in my eye, but that yeah. should, should dissipate over time. Mm -hmm. So the words the, the words that you got to pay attention to what they're saying. They can't give you any guarantees, which is, is a little disconcerting to me. Basically, he was saying, this should take care of it. <laughs> this should heal it and, and sort of arrest it from getting worse. He said, you'll always have that tear there, but what we're doing is lasering around the, the edge of the tear. And so, <laughs> you know, there's no guarantees, but he says, that's, that's, this, should, this should stop it for now, and it should, you should be good. You won't have any vision loss, right? Yes, and this is not rare. Like, we never thought about this before, but I'm still not it buying it, you know? My mom didn't have a lot great, of people. My mom had pretty poor vision by the end of her life, and she never had issues like this. I, well, your parents, I... I mean, I never heard of anybody, but they, they say, say that it's very it's common. very common. And yeah. there were other people on a Saturday in there with the, same, the same thing, thing, right? Yeah. And it is, in fact, a retina center, a big center with multiple doctors doing yes. this kind of stuff. Yep. Anyway, so uh, I'll be healing up, and uh, down the road, I'll let you know how things have gone. We're, we're hoping Yay. for the best. He's a good All healer, right. so. All right, so quick update. Uh, so I had the lasering done Saturday. Monday, is it Monday? What happened? When did that happen? Uh, Monday, Monday was more, you I had a bleed. See. I, I, I developed, suddenly lost my, uh, most all of my vision in my left eye and so i made an appointment went in the next day and they said yeah you can't see out well guess what we can't see in yeah. to see what's going on but they think that the tear tore a little more and along with that blood vessel that it was attached to or tearing through causing more bleeding and and blocking my vision so they're gonna wait another week and look in there again and see hopefully there's not a new tear but they said we doubt we don't we know they you can don't fix it. they it's said you're not detached right. so fortunately you got you got that uh tear welded back and what they do is they kind of they tack it back to the the wall of the eye so that you don't develop a uh, separation detachment anyway that's where we are we're going to wait and see and hopefully they'll say you're fine just let that blood dissolve and, and keep healing and it should be I should start to see something hopefully in days or weeks to come and then get all my vision <coughs> back in Sorry. months to come so <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, just got to be hopeful Hi, buddy. anyway there's your update mm -hmm. okay so now I want to wrap this up uh, I'm I'm not, unfortunately, I'm far from being through with this whole debacle, but it is now Thursday after my Saturday uh, laser surgery. Um, I'm finally back to really, really bad vision out of this eye, but I can sort of make out what's going on. I can, I can, I can sort of see that I have five fingers up, for example. It's just very bad and blurry, but at least I'm getting some sight coming back through that bleeding, that re-bleeding that I had after surgery, which really didn't have anything to do with the surgery. It was, just, as I said, it was just that tear in the retina had a hold of a blood vessel that it was causing again to bleed and, and, and ruining my vision. <clears throat> but I think, um, I've got another appointment uh, with this retina center. They have you come in as many times as you need to following your surgery up to when you're healed and you know, you're out of that, that territory where you're in post-op. Um, but 
I'm, I'm very, very hopeful. Please, please read the comments below because undoubtedly we'll have a lot of people who have had similar or far worse problems than mine. And uh, that maybe that'll be, you'll find some information there that's helpful to you. Please also read the description below because I'll have any links there to follow up videos or, or any uh, comments that might be helpful. But thank you for watching and, and I really wish you the best. Don't panic if this stuff happens, just get treatment right away. Thanks for watching everybody. Sorry for the drama, but we wanted to share this with you in case, in case it helps. <laughs> we'll help somebody. <laughs>